What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. In today's video, we're reacting to everyone's favorite gay little garden gnome character masquerading as a homeless camper, Owen Cook, aka Tyler Durden from the book The Game, aka a little fucking ginger loser who thinks he's super cool and runs a cult. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> So you're proud of me? Well, guess what? The best results that I've ever gotten socially are when I am fucked up financially and kind of fat. And in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you the secret of being a fat, broke guy and smashing it in your social results. Now, I wanna lead into this by saying that for many, many years, I say- A fat, broke guy? He scammed millions of dollars off guys in the fucking community, okay, by pretending to help them. He's a real wolf in sheep's clothing because he keeps peddling the solution to your dating problems in the form of over 70 different dating products. That's right, over 70. And he even sells boot camps in packs of four. Okay, but he doesn't actually fix the problem. Okay, that's the issue. He just keeps you on this hamster wheel and tells you that it's right around the corner and you keep shoveling out money and he never fixes the problem. And people will always say it's a conspiracy because I've taught social skills based programs. And so I'm trying to deny the power of fitness and deny the power of making money. and. Therefore, I can selfishly benefit by saying that these things are not a big deal. When in reality, I got friends like Ty Lopez, Brandon Carter, Elliot Hulse. Ty Lopez, one of the biggest internet marketing scammers in the whole fucking space. Brandon Carter runs a scam, high ticket program. He's friends with all the scammers. Yeah, that's not a flex. But gladly bring in and say, you know what? You will never have any social results unless you're crazy jack like my friend Brandon and rich like my friend Ty. Sid is also rich, by the way. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna get unless you're rich like Sid. So you got a mansion like me, no one's gonna talk to you. I got Greg o Gallagher right here unless you got a six pack like him, no. Kino body is Grego Gallagher, a giant fitness scammer. Are you seeing a pattern? He's flexing that he's friends with all the scammers. <laughs> Look at his face here. This guy is like one of the biggest pieces of shit in the whole manosphere. I was going to say in the whole internet. That's also the case. He's caused endless amounts of suffering and pain. I've made countless videos about this guy detailing how terrible he is. Let's scroll through some of the videos that I've made. Okay, my editor can put up on the screen. We'll scroll through. Look at all these videos that I've made showing what a fucking terrible influence this guy is, showing how much he's hurt people, showing how much suffering he's caused. But the whole time he masquerades as if he's on your side. The whole time he masquerades as if he's your friend, as if he's trying to help you. He never was trying to help you. You have to come to that realization and get off the hamster wheel. He's never going to fix the problem. He has no idea how, and it's not in his best interest. He's only here to make money. He's even bragged a whole bunch about how he he enjoys selling from the stage and that's where his real passion is is studying these big time internet marketers it's never gonna give you the time of day and you gotta buy it all you gotta buy look at his little lackey over on the side here <laughs> this is sid he's rich sid's like look at owen now here being fucking maniacal at all you need everything for some look at his face <laughs> Imagine any hot girl ever wanting to bang this guy. It would never happen. <laughs> and he says in like 20 different places, okay, that he's gay. We'll actually put in the end screen the video showing various references where he's going on camera saying he's gay over and over and over. He's saying it in infield clips to girls. He's saying it in countless videos. Okay, He's saying that he came out of the closet at one point. He's imitating a gay voice all the time. Like who would do that? That is straight. I personally think that he's gay or really, apparently he said he was bi at one of his free tours. That's what someone reported, which is really hilarious and also disgusting. Imagine this fucking eccentric camper, homeless looking camper guy sucking some other guy's cock. Maybe the guy to his right. <laughs> <laughs> He's still out of control. Meanwhile, I'm running a program that has the best results in the space. We have over 1,250 testimonials on a page. I consistently fix the problem very quickly and very effectively. I'm looking at this face here of his. Let's get a zoom on, on his face there. <laughs> Ugh. If you actually want to solve the problem, okay, we usually pack guys' calendars full of dates within two to three weeks' time. You can book a free 30-minute dating strategy call with the link in the description or pinned comment and go over all the options of pricing and training options to actually fix the problem permanently. That's what I offer. Okay, a permanent and final solution that works extremely quickly and effectively so you don't have to dick around with assholes like this. Like you! But what I found was, the less that I give a fuck, the more that I get loose, and the more that I'm enjoying my fucking life, the better social results that I get. So what we've always said is something a little bit different. Actually, I'd like to teach you how to make money. <coughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> and I want to teach you how to be healthy. And I want to teach you all that stuff. It's all great stuff. <laughs> okay, inside. We're reloaded, okay? We'll talk about that a little bit later. But the point is, I would honestly say to you that you should make as much money as you can. You should get as fit as you can. It's all great. I feel really, really good having dropped a bunch of weight, doing a ton of cardio. Cardio is getting way better. It's great. Blood pressure is down. It's yeah, he looks in great shape there. Looks like a fucking blob that, that, had <laughs> that lives in a trailer home. Fucking awesome. It's great. Love it. I did that for me. But I didn't do that thinking that my results will get any better when I'm out. Now, the beauty of me doing when, when I'm older is that I now know how to make money for me and I know how to actually be back in the gym for me. I get that. But when I was younger, there was always a little part of my brain that was doing it thinking that I'd finally get approval, doing it for the cookie. And what this was doing was it was causing me to become uptight. So what we wanna talk about in this video is this idea of, and we're probably gonna get the jargon wrong because we're gonna bring in our friend, um, some videos from our friend Elliot Holson here. And so what Elliot has done over the years is something called uh, bioenergetics. And I've actually seen this done live at a, at a thing that he did called Grounding Camp many years ago. It's totally incredible to see it live. And it's basically this idea, and again, I'm probably gonna mess this up, but you know, paraphrasing and probably messing it up, over in a party socializing, like good fucking luck having any of this bullshit account for you anything. You'll, 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 you'll never beat them. You'll never beat that looseness. What, what did you call it? Pr present now? What, what were you saying? This little lackey over here. It's called the, like, <laughs> the world is perfect now. The world is of the now. Celebration of the now. They are celebrating the now. And what's funny is. Look at Owen. All proud of himself. <laughs> He's grown this fucking disgusting beard. They, they, they never waited. We wait. One of the funniest parts about Owen Cook is he's like one of the biggest losers of all time. The guy is extremely try hard, extremely cringe, extremely beta and low value. And everything he does embodies like beta low value shit. But here's the funny part. He thinks he's like the coolest. He thinks he's like the top alpha dog, like the coolest ever, just like how, how Fresh and Fit do. When you have a super dork, Okay, super loser like Owen or like fucking Myron or Fresh that's pretending to be the coolest guy of all time. That shit's super funny. And they can convince a lot of people in their cult, right? Because people don't know any better. They're like, oh, I guess this homeless camper looking guy, uh, you know, has a lot of wisdom to share. No, he doesn't. Okay, he's there to fucking rob you blind and stick it in your ass, metaphorically and literally. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he said he's gay countless times. I'm going to take him at his word. He's a fucking weirdo and he's a huge loser. And if you still worship this guy or respect this guy, you have some problems of your own. Like I said, we're running a program that has the best results in the industry. 1,250 testimonials. There's just story after story after story after story of guys getting extremely good, extremely quick. That's what I'm known for in the space is actually fixing the problem permanently in a very effective and quick way. Okay? You don't need months or years to study this stuff and make a little bit of progress. I can get you to master the game in less than a month by showing you how to set up your Tinder profile, what to message on the online apps, what to message over text. I give you the exact sequences. What's my credentials? What's my authority? At the time of this recording, I've slept with 1,828 different girls, coming up on 2,000 different girls. I have 21,000 phone numbers in my phone. I've seen and done it all countless times. So I know what to text, I know what to message, I know how to build the online profile, I know what to do to run the date very successfully and to close the date and to keep the ones that you want and how to cold approach and pick up girls at bars and clubs and during the daytime. These guys are just running a money-making scam, that's it. If you want real help in the dating game, go book a free 30-minute call or go to PlatinumDatingSystem.com. We get tense, and not only do we get tense, we get tense in our musculature. Like, you, you talked about mm -hmm. hustling for years, you get tense mm -hmm. in your back yeah he's like the, the massage therapist is mad at him because his neck is so tense his back is look how hard this dude's trying to sound cool he's trying to talk with authority here but he just looks like a little dork so tense <laughs> so it's it's even if you're not now to be fair we don't know how many drugs ray Shermer did <laughs> and travis scott actually, are on. actually my ex used to hang out with them and okay so a lot of drugs so you don't have to use a bunch of drugs to get loose. So you can you can take a slice, do the things you wanted, like money, muscles, you do that for yourself. It's your relationship to making money. It's your relationship to getting muscles. And you can take a slice of Ray Sherman in your life. All right, this video is fucking stupid. Let's watch a little bit more. I wanna get back on to this point, but I wanna, I wanna like increase the value of the point too, so you'll get more excited about the point. If you are uptight, right? Like think about cultures where they really, really focus on math as an example, right? Or, you know, becoming a doctor, right? Or like, you know, like making sure that your dad is happy. And 
in cultures like that, those are often the, uh, the people that struggle the most with attraction and social interaction, right? And you can see entire countries where that's the culture where like there's a lot of deep, deep suffering around the topic of attraction. Then when you look at cultures that are more into dancing and being in the moment, right? Um, you know, the mother of my kids is uh, from Latin America. I've been down there with her. They're doing salsa, right? And this is very, very, very attractive where it's in the moment is having fun because the law of state transfer shows. Keep in mind, Owen is an expert expert at saying a lot of shit without really making any points. What is the lesson here? Oh, you need to be in a culture where, where people are dancing or, oh, you, <laughs> there's a problem of <if> people, <laughs> look at this guy on the right. He's trying to like burn a hole through the camera with his little 50 yard stare. <laughs> the whole setup is just ridiculous. Look at, the, look at the sparkles in the background and all this shit. Owen is such a dork. It's so funny. This is mostly just a waste of time to even look at this video here because there's nothing ever to be learned in Owen's videos. It's just a lot of woo woo nonsense and mental masturbation. In and then they just basically tell you like, oh, we're going to solve all your problems. They don't know shit. His track record is the worst in the industry. He's caused endless amounts of pain and suffering. He's expanded beyond just the dating community and the manosphere and gone to a general self-help audience so that he can scam at an even bigger scale. And he's totally out of control. Okay, We can even pop up a clip real quick where the former RSD Alex, who was an instructor for Owen's company, said that Owen is an illegal immigrant in the United States and his tax situation is unclear. Let's roll that clip here. Tyler is an illegal immigrant to the United States. He's locked in the United States. He can't legally travel outside of the United States. And I'm not sure what his tax situation is. So as you can see, he's just a mega piece of shit all the way around. Okay, we'll link a video in the end screen where we go over exploring the topic of him being gay, where we show a whole bunch of clips about him admitting that he's gay, <laughs> even though he led the whole manosphere okay, with his scam products for several years. Okay, so watch that video on the end screen. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments down below. Get on a free strategy call if you actually want to fix all your problems in the dating game or go to platinumdatingsystem.com and make sure to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you guys on a video soon. Take care. I said fuck the industry and did it my way. My I way. learned how to roll a weed, I didn't roller skate. Nah. Go in the back, y'all look at the lake and I meditate. All I need is one scale, a couple bells. Came in this shit by myself. Dolph, why you fuck this girl? Oh, uh, shit, cause I'm a player. Quarterback, no NFL. Hey.